with the information I will provide you in this video, you will know which motherboard is best for you. Is it Z790 or B760? As you can see, I have a big lineup of ASRock motherboards from the least expensive to the most expensive. That's Tai Chi, by the way, Z790 Tai Chi. Looking beautiful. Which actually brings me to another question I will answer in this video. Should you pay extra for a more expensive motherboard or should you go for something in the middle or the cheapest one? But first, let me tell you about the amazing deal you can get from my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Okay, so let's start with who should get Z790 and who should get B760 motherboards. Basically, it comes down to this. If you are building a simple gaming PC that doesn't need to do anything else, then B760 is the one for you. There is no need to overpay for extra features, ports and slots that Z790 provides if you are not going to use them. However, if you want to dabble in CPU overclocking, then Z790 is the one to go for. Also, if you are getting this for work, then you probably already know that you need more PCIe slots or more USB ports and also some more expensive Z790s provide you with Thunderbolt 4 ports, which B760 motherboards do not have. Let me give you a quick example of what I mean. Just check it out. This is the uh, comparison of uh, B760 motherboard I.O. to the most expensive Z790 motherboard from ASRock lineup. Yeah, as you can see, B760 at the top, it does not have Thunderbolt 4 ports and it has fewer USB ports, as well as just one LAN connection. Also, with the more expensive Z790 motherboards, you can connect more graphics cards. So, for example, on this Tai Chi Z790, you get two PCIe Gen 5 slots. Additionally, you have the option to expand the storage a lot further than it would go on B760 because this motherboard can connect up to 4 M.2 NVMe SSDs and also look at that. 8 SATA cables are available for your SATA drives. Compare that to this one right here and it only has 4. Can we stop for a moment to appreciate this Sonic special motherboard? Check out that hologram. That ring <laughs> is uh, spinning. Yeah, that's quite cool. To sum it up again, if you are overclocking your CPU or need a lot more devices connected, then go for the Z790 and the more expensive options are going to provide with most connectivity. But it will, uh, you know, set you back about $480 to $550 for the Tai Chi. However, if you are simply gaming, then go for the cheaper B760 motherboards. And yeah, there are more expensive B760 available, and we are going to talk about that in just a moment. But before that, I would like to showcase this uh, ITX motherboard. This is actually Z790 PG ITX TB4. So it is a Z790 motherboard, but if you are building a compact PC, then I think this is the way to go. Not only does it have a lot of ports and connections on the back, it also looks stunning and the performance of the VRM is uh, very nice. Even like the heatsink uh, is <laughs> massive. Check it out. This whole thing is metal and it has a heat pipe going through there. so you know that the cooling will be good. 
As for the price, right now I spotted it on Amazon for $290. By the way, links will be in the description below to all these motherboards. Check them out if you want to buy one. And those links are international. They will redirect you to your local Amazon store. Right, but usually it is $350 for this thing. Okay, now let's talk about which motherboard you should pair with your i5, i7 or i9 CPU. Starting with i5, it is the CPU that consumes least power out of the three, so you can go for the cheapest B760 and it's not going to be a problem. For example, this B760 Pro RS with DDR4 support that has and nine phase power design even this will be okay for your i5 i mentioned the power phases because the same motherboard has a different version this is the ddr5 version it's slightly more expensive at 180 dollars but it comes with better vrm design so more power phases check it out you can even see it this compared to this so yeah, I would not recommend putting i7 or i9 in this one, but this one actually should be okay for a gaming PC. Even if you put i9 in here, it will do okay, as long as you don't push it too hard in other CPU intensive tasks. For those, you will need a more expensive motherboard. For example, this B760M Sonic, it comes with even better VRM. And look, the ring is spinning. <laughs> yeah, I like that effect. Right, back to the VRM. Yeah, so for example, this motherboard, it costs between $150 to $190, depending on where you are getting it from, if it's on sale or not. But yeah, normal price is around $180, $190. And this one will do well with all three CPUs, i5, i7, i9, this one will do great with any of those CPUs. Let's move up to the next price level. That is Z790 PG Lightning at $210. And as you can see, this is like the one of the entry level models for the Z790. It doesn't come with uh, that many features compared to something like Tai Chi over here. And yeah, even if we look at the I.O., no Thunderbolt ports and fewer USB ports, also no Wi-Fi. However, this will be a good option for any of the three CPUs, i5, i7, i9. And if you are a beginner in CPU overclocking and just want to give it a go, try it out, then this motherboard will actually be okay because it does come with a good power delivery system. So yeah it will handle some overclocking quite well. Z790 PG Sonic for $250 to $295 is actually a good mid option from the Z790 lineup because it comes with a pretty strong VRM and, uh, you know, good heat sinks, even the NVMe M.2 SSDs, uh, the ones at the bottom, also have their heatsink and check it out it is quite thick and capable and also check out check out this heatsink right here it is massive compare it to this one right here right and also <laughs> not all z790 motherboards come with nvme m.2 gen 5 support this one, for example, it has it. Well, this PG Lightning is limited to Gen 4 SSD, even though it is a Z790 motherboard, so do check the specs before you buy. And while this PG Sonic motherboard is a mid-tier Z790, it still has a lot of connectivity. So, for example, uh, in the SATA port department, we have six here and additional two here, so that's eight, the same as on the most expensive Tai Chi. That makes PG Sonic a good competitor versus that Tai Chi motherboard at a lower price point. 
With that in mind, is the more expensive Z790 motherboard even worth it if you can get similar specs and features in a less expensive motherboard? Well, it is uh, down to you because, as I said, this motherboard right here is packed with a lot of features that you don't get on that one right there. And yeah, that hence, hence the more expensive price tag. So who needs an expensive Z790 motherboard? Well, first of all, it looks amazing. You know, much higher quality than the less expensive stuff, something like this just you know just to give you a comparison and the least expensive stuff like this you can see the difference right in design in details like these gears right here yeah you don't get that and also a lot of a lot of heat sinks so everything is covered and also well uh, this one has a back plate I'll show you. The Sonic Z790 doesn't have a backplate, although it does have a cool artwork here. So no backplate, and on the cheapest Z790, you know, no backplate either. And also you get the maximum amount possible of all sorts of slots and ports, as well as if you want to be serious about overclocking your CPU, then this is the one to go for because it comes with a great VRM and a massive heatsink. A good VRM with good cooling is a must-have if you are serious about overclocking. And yeah, as you can see, VRM heatsink on this thing is massive. It is absolutely massive. And also there is a fan in there which provides an extra active cooling as you can see those are the cables that connect to the fan yeah basically that is it this is the top of the line if you don't care about the price tag kind of thing best out of the best i just would like to let you know that one thing you should look out for when shopping for a z790 or b760 motherboard is that you should always check if it's a DDR5 version or DDR4 version because some motherboards do have similar design and similar names but they do support different types of memory which are not backwards compatible so make sure that you get the right one and that you're not wasting time and money links to all the motherboards featured in this video will be in the description below so go check them out if you want to buy one as i mentioned previously uh, it is an international link so it will direct you to your local amazon store thank you very much for supporting my content if you did enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up subscribe for more like it and i'll see you in the next one